everyone, this is Amanda Silver Sister and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is like a two part video. Um, the main thing I want to talk about is how I think we're actually doing self care wrong and want to share with you why I think that. Um, but the other thing, I'm multitasking here. So today I've got my hair all pinned up um, because I think it's really important for us to avoid heating tools while we are going gray. And this particular one is so easy, so I have to do it while I'm doing something else. So my hair is currently drying. I just wanna show it to you really quick. So this isn't the main part of the video, but I was so excited about this hairdo. I just needed to do a little bit of a feature on it. So if you look at the back, it's a complete mess. And so all I did was twirl my hair, and then just before I take it out, I'm gonna be using um, this really, really, really light texture spray. And um, then I'll show you the picture of it after. I think I posted it a bit on my community page, but I was just loving the curls so much. They're just really nice and beachy waves. And I, anyways, so I just wanted to, to give you guys that little tip um, if you're trying to find new hairstyles with your gray hair. So anyways, the main topic about this video today is about self-care. So I got to thinking and I thought, you know, I have, I kind of think that we have been doing self-care wrong. And I want to share with you why I think that. So if I think about the things that women generally will uh, put in the self-care pile, it would be things like going to get our, our hair done. So whether we're getting our hair cut or whether we're still dyeing our hair, we go and we do that. Um, we might go and um, you know get our, our eyebrows shaped or we might get our mustaches <laughs> waxed off. Um, we might go make our nails pretty. We might do our pedicure. Um, we might get a facial done. So all of those things have a common theme to me. And I was thinking they're all, and, and please don't hear me wrong, I'm not saying any of these in and of themselves are bad. And I'm not making, I don't wanna make a general statement, but I do think we need to make a shift because all of those things to me um, focus on our outward look and our outward beauty and trying to switch things or change things and making us feeling better by making us feeling like we look better. And when I think about other things that we could do that might be the reverse where we're working on our insides and making our insides um, look or feel better and then that will affect our outsides. Um, and so what I mean by that is say we book ourselves a massage and so that might be helping how we're feeling, how we're holding ourselves. If we decide that we're going to take some time and do a guided meditation just to stop and clear our head and help reduce our stress. Um, if we decide we're going for a walk today to also clear our head. If we decide we're going to sit and have a tea and carve some time out in our day to read a book that we've been wanting to get into. Or maybe you're a letter writer and you want to write a letter to someone, a good old handwritten letter. Wouldn't that be shocking to receive in the mail? Um, but what I'm saying is I see that we have really decided, and again, we've sent this message to women that our self-care has to be tied up in how we look. And it shouldn't be like that because that isn't self-care at all. To me, that's just another way that we're putting more pressure on ourselves to keep up with everybody and to look as good as or to be as pretty as or to have our skin as youthful as or our nails as pretty as. Now, you may feel good about those things and I think that sometimes we do. But I think we have to be really careful and know like you might feel really good because you get the same rush out of uh, beautiful fingernails as you might be from shopping. So there might be just a bit of a a dopamine br uh, a rush that comes in. So of course it is going to make you feel better, but I don't think it has that longevity um, to be able to say that it is self care. Um, I think it might be self maintenance. Um, it might be, I don't know if self care. So I, when I think of caring for myself, I think of nurturing myself. Now maybe that time that you spend in the salon while someone is focusing on your your nails and your and um, your toenails and your fingernails, you're getting your mani-pedi. It is a, a, a time where you are, are able to stop in a busy day and, and pause and relax. And I could see the self-care component in that. But what I just wanted to challenge you, and I'm so curious if you think what you think about it, um, if you feel like maybe our self-care is a little bit off and that we should really switch our self-care to stop thinking about things that um, affect what we look like on the outside and switch that to look at things that we look at feel like on the inside so I would say even taking the time to relook at your food menu and saying you know how can I add 
you know, more antioxidants into my diet? How can I take a little bit of the fat out? So it, 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 and figuring it like, what can I do to feel good from the inside out um, would be more chalked up to the, the category of self-care to me than just going to do something to your physical look. So anyways, that's just what I just thought. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you today. Let me know what you think. And so before I leave, I, I won't have time to take this out because it's not quite dry, but I just want you know, back to my hair. <laughs> it's always about my hair, ladies. It's always about my hair. Um, so I'm gonna spray this before I take it out. And right now, I did this the other day. Like, it took me no time at all. And I, this is a, I, I gave it a little bit more effort this time, but this is the picture of what it looks like after. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this option of something heatless and really super easy. You can do it at home a day like today where I, I'm home, I've got some time. Um, I do have to run to the grocery store and I'm not doing it with these in my hair. Uh, but yeah, it's super easy to do. So um, that's all that I have today. I love checking in with everybody on Friday. So um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are in a good headspace with your gray hair for the weekend. Um, I am still loving my gray hair. It is the best choice I've made and I don't regret it at all. So take care, Silver Sisters, and uh, have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to connecting with you next week. Thanks for all your support on here, by the way. My goal was to be 600 followers by the end of April, and I think I'm at 629 already, which blows my mind. It's so fun. Um, yeah, so anyways, okay, take care, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.